In this video, I want to take a moment to talk about some compatible wireless USB adapters for Linux. Now, let me minimize my web page for a moment. If you look here, you can see that on this old desktop system, I do have a little Wi-Fi dongle that I have installed here that allows me to connect to the internet wirelessly. Now, I have had several different wireless dongles in the back. and I've had a lot of people on YouTube and people to send me emails about installing drivers for particular type of dongles and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This was one of my first websites that I created about how to install a Realtek Wi-Fi driver after a kernel update and this is for kernels 14.8 and older and this works and if you've got a an old system and you're running an older version of Linux that you're using an older kernel as long as you have a this chipset or a compatible chipset then it should still work however I have noticed that when you get kernel updates that it wipes the driver out and you have to go back and reinstall or recompile the driver and that's not a problem but if you're someone switching over for Linux for the first time that can be very cumbersome and that may make you switch back to your original operating system that you have and this is at the very bottom of this I uh, have an embedded video and that's why a lot of times on my videos I don't say hit like or subscribe because of the embedded videos there's no like button there's no subscription button but here's the actual video that's embedded on this particular web page and if you look down there's lots of people that have trouble installing them and I try to my best to go through and answer as many as I can and then when the, kernel 4.19 came out in the newer especially version 5 it made it very difficult to install it with the older method so I'll close these out it made it more difficult so I came up with a different way of installing it when I say I came up with I found a different way of installing it as you can see here this is still the real tech and it was still using the same driver and this works for a couple different types of chipsets and uh, if you read the rest of the page uh, you will see which chipsets but I've already opened up my terminal and as you can see here I no longer use the Realtek uh, semiconductor uh, driver I now use the RA-Link Technology Corp the RT5372 wireless adapter which is the Panda adapter and when I bought the Panda and I'll talk more about that in just a moment I was able to put it into my machine and I didn't have to install any drivers it was hundred percent compatible and since then it's got multiple updates it's got multiple kernel updates and I've not had to reinstall or recompile the driver so this video is for anyone looking to install a Wi-Fi dongle on their computer and even if it's for Windows I'm not gonna say Mac because I don't know much about a Mac system if you're ever thinking about switching from Windows to Linux if you get one that's already compatible then you don't have any problems with the drivers so here is with this one I still have some people that it's had a hard time or it's not working for the driver that they have so what I did was as you can see here I've purchased this particular dongle uh, which says it's compatible with Linux and if you go and read on uh, where it's compatible with it talks about all the the compatibility if you look down here there are people that talks about getting it to work with Linux and I even had this and I was able to install it but some of the uh, negative reviews it says does not work for Linux well it does you just have to compile the driver to get it to working so even though I've had two of those they do work it's just very cumbersome keeping the driver installed on a Linux system that's not to say that's a bad uh, wireless adapter as you can see it's got 1860 ratings and most of them are positive most of the negative are people that come from the Linux operating system has a hard time keeping the driver installed this type I've had some of these it's not this particular model that I purchased I like the way that TP-Link advertises their Linux they tell you that it will work with Linux kernel 2.6.18 all the way to 4.43 so when you get to kernel 5 they're not guaranteed that this product will work or they may have to install the driver as you would some of the other type of wireless dongles and this one here 
it also says that it's compatible with Mac, PC, and Linux. So when you're reading, don't just say Linux compatible and purchase it, thinking that you can plug it into it. As you can see, it says the driver CD included, which means you're probably going to have to install the driver, which means each time you get a kernel update, you'll have to reinstall the driver, and that can be very cumbersome. If you look that down here at some of the reviews, uh, they got some great reviews. And then if you look down here, you got some people that says not completely compatible with Ubuntu. The driver uh, loaded eventually. They had to go through and it talked about how ridiculous it is to manually install it each time that you get a kernel update. So that's a problem that a lot of people are, are having in the Linux community. Here's where the It's FOSS community, someone said need help finding a decent Linux compatible USB Wi-Fi device. There's a lot of people recommending different products and as you can see here are some products that are here. They tell you how to install the drivers but a lot of times when you're installing the drivers more than likely after the kernel update you're going to continue to install the drivers. So I've put together a list of Wi-Fi dongles that I personally have experience with or through a relative or friend and they give me feedback and those are the two links where I showed you how to install the wireless driver for the Wi-Fi dongles that I currently were using as you can see here here's another article and there's multiple articles like this an update killed my USB Wi-Fi adapter the RTL 8821AU you know that's a great chipset uh, and that's a great wireless dongle it's just with Linux an update killed it where they had to reinstall the driver and here I like learn reading a lot of articles from learning penguin if you look at this it says solved how to install the Realtek RT812 AU Wi-Fi driver it's been edited and modified multiple times as you can see here they keep modifying as the kernels update it kind of changes the way that you install the driver then you have a lot of people some it works some it doesn't some it works at a particular time some that it doesn't so when you're working with Wi-Fi drivers where you have to keep installing those then it gets very cumbersome that's not to say that the ones that I'm going to recommend when there's a future kernel update these may become the same way I can only speak from when I've purchased it, when I put it in my machine, up to this particular moment. And as you can see here, I am currently using Ubuntu 18.04.4, uh, the long-term support on this desktop system. And the dongle that I have in this system is this Panda, the, the 06 300 megabytes per second wireless USB, the N USB adapter. I purchased this from Amazon on March the 19th of 2018 and when it come I took out my older Wi-Fi dongle plug this one in it immediately started working and I'm not getting any kickback from Amazon or from Panda you know I purchased this myself and stuck it in there so this is no advertisement this is just me showing you what worked with my system so I immediately plugged it in and I've got multiple updates and I probably didn't have 18.04.4. Uh, I probably had 18.04, but it might have been at 0.1 or 0.2. So it's been updated and it's got multiple kernel updates, and I never had to reinstall the driver, and it works good. You know, it may not be at the full bars right now, but it does usually get there. It's because I'm on one side of the house, the router is on the other side through an exterior wall, so it's pretty strong signal compared to how far away I am from the wireless router. Now on my laptop, I wrote I used to have a dongle that I had to install the driver each time the kernel was updated I purchased this on October the 12th 2019 which is not that long ago but it has gotten kernel updates as well and I've never had to reinstall the driver so with my experience with this the Panda Ultra uh, 150 megabyte bits per second uh, this particular model the PAU03 it works great and I did not have to install a driver now I do have relatives and friends that have removed dongles from their systems that had to install drivers and they purchased some of the ones that are different than I have because I recommended these but I told them if they would try these then that way they could keep me updated and these work just as well so I provide a link here if you click onto it it will take you to 
Amazon. Now, if you're in another country, you might not want to go to Amazon.com. Like in Canada, it might be .ca. In the UK, it would be .uk. So this right here is just to get the model number. If you look at the Panda PAU05 and you purchase it, not necessarily Amazon, wherever you want, it should be compatible, or at least if you're using Ubuntu or any of the Ubuntu derivatives, it should be compatible where you plug it into your system and it works without installing a driver. So it's the Panda uh, PAU05. I have a relative that has that and it works great. I also have a fr two different friends that have these particular models and they work great. One of my friends was looking for an extended range. So when I offered them to get this one and this one, I told them that the range that I have within my house, which they have a bigger house, so and they had upstairs, so they purchased this particular model, the PAU09. It supports both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz, and it has a very long range uh, within their house, and it was immediately plug-and-play compatible. They put it in their system, and it started working. So each of these that you see on my web page are compatible with the Ubuntu and the Ubuntu derivatives. Now, if you're looking for additional information about compatible USB wireless adapters, I do have some additional information. You know, don't go to places like Amazon or any of the other online stores and buy it just because it says Linux compatible. There are different chipsets and there are different makes and models that will have one that will work exactly with a Linux system, but then the same identical name may eventually change the chipset where you plug it into it and you have to install the driver. So be aware of those type of uh, adapters. So I do have other links that you can click on to read about it. Now at, down here at the bottom, as you can see I've purchased three of these different type of uh, wireless adapters. They're plug and play. When I say wireless, they, you do plug a wire into your modem, into the TP link, you plug the other end into an outlet, and then you plug uh, the other one into another outlet and from the, the Ethernet cable it goes to your device. So on my smart TV I run from my wireless modem or from my modem, I run an Ethernet cable through my electrical wires. This filters out the 120 volts, 60 hertz, and only passes the signal from the modem so that it goes to my television set, my smart TV, and I don't get any signal drop. It's very similar if I plug in an Ethernet cable and check the speed from my modem. So if you've got a desktop system, you may want to purchase these. Now, like I said, you can see I purchased three, one for myself, one for my parents. One time a set got hit by lightning and I had to replace it, so I purchased three of these and they work great. Now I'm not advertising this particular product. Product, you can buy a different product just make sure that they're the the power line Ethernet adapters that allows you to use your power wires as your conductors for your internet and you will get amazing speed like I said I recommend this for desktop systems that are setting still Wi-Fi's you know this are these are not Wi-Fi adapters these are the Wi-Fi adapters up here so if you're thinking about switching to Linux make sure that if you're using an, a USB adapter, a little Wi-Fi dongle, that your dongle is supporting Linux. If not, you may want to take a few moments and order one or buy one that's compatible with your system to prevent the headaches from reinstalling the Wi-Fi driver each time that you get a kernel update. So this is not really a software review. This is more of a hardware review for those of you that are new to Linux or have been using Linux and have just gotten frustrated of constantly having to reinstall your Wi-Fi driver for your USB adapter. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.